Hello guys and girls, in this video I'm going to be talking about Digimon Adventure 2020 the recent reboot of the original 1999 Digimon Adventure anime I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on it what I thought of, of the anime now that I've finished it my positives and negatives and what I think they should have done to improve the, the anime now this uh, review slash analysis will include some spoilers so if you have not finished watching the anime or if you haven't, or, or if you haven't watched the anime yet do not uh, watch the, the whole of this video I will uh, start uh, uh, going further in, in the story and uh, mentioning some uh, of the villains and stuff as we go along the video so I, I will uh, put a, a spoiler alert in there but yeah just as a heads up there's that so without any further ado let's go on then with the review slash analysis and what I thought about this reboot of Digimon Adventure. So this uh, new anime of Digimon was pretty exciting at the time when I got to, to know about its announcement. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Digimon. Uh, for, the, for those of you who know me, know that I, I really love Digimon. Ever since I was uh, little, I've always loved the anime, the designs and stuff. I also like some of the games. And when they announced that they were gonna reboot the original 1999 anime, I was really excited and I, I got really pumped for it. And it kind of started really good, the anime, don't get me wrong, it kind of started really good. But unfortunately, it really started to die out as we went along. And it really just was filled with uh, filler and unnecessary stuff as well as some really uh, awkward episodes in there. Uh, I've seen some people also uh, memeing, and this is re really true, making memes about Taichi and Agumon, that this is, was really Taichi and Agumon's show. And in some ways it was, because if you pay attention, you really don't have to be a genius to, to, to see it. But Taichi and Agumon had about 90% of the airtime in this anime. It was always about Taichi and Agumon. They always appeared in every single episode. I think they appeared in every single episode, actually. Uh, I'm not really sure. But I do note that they appeared in most of the episodes, if not all of them. And their combined their time probably exceeded all the other characters. So, yeah. It was really just a, a Taichi and Agumon show, unfortunately. Which is kind of a bummer. And uh, it was kind of expected because... With uh, most animes like this, shonen animes and stuff, the characters which are more popular are always the ones which get more airtime. So, yeah, it was kind of already um, pretty obvious that it was, it was going to be a Taichi and Agumon show, but I still wish they could have done so much more, but unfortunately not. So, um, like I said, this, is, this was basically a reboot of the original 1999 Digimon Adventure anime. So it, it kind of is sort of like a, a reboot, but then again, it's also a different kind of story in a way. They started off actually based on a, a movie from the, um, the fifth generation, I believe. They started off uh, with uh, some uh, elements from, from that movie, which I'm going to be putting here in the video. I don't remember now. I, I, don't, I don't remember the, the, the name of the movie, but it, it was the same villain. So they started off pretty good. Uh, in there, they 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 had the um, Omnimon as well in there in, in the first two episodes. We we got Omnimon right off the bat, so it was pretty exciting because getting Omnimon right in the first episodes really uh, opened the door for what's to come. But unfortunately, like I said in the beginning of the video, it it really started to dra to to drag out off uh, as we went further along, and it started to just become really filler and uh, trash in a way, sorry for, for that word, but really it just became trash and unnecessary episodes to fill up the, the void until we, we, we finally got into the, the last remaining episodes. So yeah. Um, now I'm gonna be um, spoiling a little bit, alright? So if you haven't watched the anime, quit now because now I'm gonna go further into the storyline and mention the, the villain and stuff, so quit now if you haven't watched the anime. If you have watched the anime, and you suffered like just like I did, then yeah, here's my uh, thoughts on it. So for the story, like I said, this was basically a reboot of the, the original 1999 anime. 
but it kind of went different ways as well so this time we did not have the the dark masters for example we had the millennium on as well as z millennium on and moon millennium on we also had the uh, appearances from um, dark knight mon as well which by the way was the best villain in this anime in my opinion and probably in some in some in many people's opinions Dark Knight Mon was really the star of this of this anime of this show. He was really the best villain, and the best episodes. Uh, some of the best episodes had him in there as well. So yeah, this anime, like I said, uh, differs, differences differentiated itself a little bit in the, in terms of the story. It start it started off a little bit like the original one. We had the Ogre Mon, then we we had the Devi Mon, and Devi Mon, by the way, was the the longest uh, running arc in this anime as well. The, the, it had a lot of build up to Devimon, but unfortunately, it really uh, didn't pay off in the end because it, they, they just uh, had Devimon evolve into, into this new uh, form of him, of this new mega form, which is called Demi, uh, Demi Devimon, which is based off Venom from Spider Man, as you could probably uh, uh, guess from the design. Now, I, I'm not really a fan of this design, I think, I think they should have went to more along the the sides of uh, something like uh, Miotis Mon, which by the way did not appear in this anime. I don't know, I don't know why. They really, in my opinion, should have went like the original one in terms of the villains. So in the original one, we had the the first major villain was Devimon, then we had Miotis Mon, and then we had uh, the Dark Masters and the Pokemon. In this one, like I said, we started off with Ogre Mon, then it it uh, proceeded to Devimon, and then we had the. Uh, uh, an episode with Entemon, but Entemon really did not uh, did not uh, play a major role in this anime like in the original one, where there were a lot of episodes dedicated to him. In this anime, he only had one episode, which is kind of a shame because Entemon was always a, a fan favorite, and he really was, re and he really was awesome in the original one. So it kind of sucks that he only had one episode dedicated to him in this anime. But yeah, then after Devimon, we had a lot of filler. So there were a lot of filler episodes after Devimon. Like I said, this anime was was filled with fillers. Then we went on to to Moon Millennium, to to Moon Millennium, yeah, to Millennium Mon and Moon Millennium Mon and his revival and stuff. Then we had Z Millennium Mon, and then we we ended up with uh, Ab Abaddon Mon and Mega Mon, which is the the new villain for for uh, this anime, which I don't really like as well. I don't really like like uh, Mega Mon or Ab Abaddon Mon for that matter. He really was inspired by greed from Full Metal Alchemist, and I don't really see uh, uh, much of a uh, much of a design emphasis in in him. He's really generic. He's just a mindless monster. He doesn't have any purpose whatsoever. So yeah, I don't really like the, those type of monster of uh, of uh, enemies. In my opinion, they should have went like the original one with the dark monsters and the Pokemon. Uh, I, I kind of I kind of uh, wish they had gone with the Dark Masters and they could have even went even further with their forms. Like for example, Metal Sidramon could have could have had the Gigi Sidramon, which is a super mega for him. Then uh, Mugen Dramon, aka Machine Dramon, could have had the Chaos Dramon as well. We could have had Bolt Bolt Boltmon, which is a fusion of Meltishmon and the Piedmon. They could have they could have also they could have also added a Pokemon and maybe even a new form for him, but no, not even that. We all we had was just some filler episodes here and there, and Moon Millennium One, which which by the way was defeated pretty pretty badly by by a, a, a spirit bomb kind of attack from uh, War Grimon out of out of all the Digimon. War Grimon was the one that defeated the Z Millennium One, so that was really bad writing in my opinion. Being that Z Millennium One is is probably the most powerful Digimon ever. Being defeated by Wargreymon was really a shame, but oh well. The best, the best uh, arc of this anime was definitely was definitely uh, the um, the Devimon arc. I really enjoyed the the, the episode where the uh, Metal Wargreymon Dark evolves to Machine Dramon. Kind of. That was one of the best episodes and and probably the the apex of this anime. Unfortunately, um, one another aspect, negative aspect of this anime was the, the animation. The animation was not really that great, in my opinion. Uh, I don't, I don't really like the, the the animation for most of the episodes. It 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 really felt kind of rushed, especially the Z Millennium uh, episode where you have um, um, Holy Dramon and God Dramon. Yeah, the, that episode was really badly animated. So yeah, there's that. 
For this soundtrack, I actually like the soundtrack. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed the soundtrack. It was probably not on the level of the original one, but it was really nice. So that was good, the, the soundtrack was nice. But overall the anime itself was really a, uh, a shame, it was really bad. And uh, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't have waited to, to finish it. I kind of delayed finishing it because I, really, I was really just getting bored with it, with just so many filler episodes. But I, I, I had started it, so I had to end it, unfortunately. So yeah, I had to live up with a nightmare, so yeah. If you guys haven't watched this anime, uh, I don't really recommend it, unless you're a really uh, hardcore Digimon fan. I don't think you're gonna get much out of this. Now, the new, the new anime, Digimon Ghost Game, from what I've seen, looks to be pretty alright. It definitely looks better than this one, from what I've seen from some screenshots of that anime. But this one, Digimon Adventure 2020, really did not deliver in my opinion. The pacing was really bad, you had a lot of filler episodes in there. Like I said in the beginning, it was just really a uh, Tai Chi and Agumon show. Zin Millenniumon was a joke. He really was a joke. The best part about this all was really Devimon arc. That was the best thing about it. But it really felt slow. Until the, until the final battle with Devimon, they had such a slow pace. And that's another thing actually, is that they had the Devimon arc so slow until Devimon. And then after Devimon, when we got to the, the, to the Millenniumon arc, after so many filler episodes, they, 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 just, they just rushed the, the Millennium on and we had like the, the, his revival in like one episode and the final battle also in one, in one episode only, so... Devimon arc was very slow, the Millennium on arc was really fast and in between there we just had so many fillers, episodes and just episodes to dedicate to the Megas and stuff it was kind of nice that we, that we finally got to see the, the other Megas, all of the other Digidescent, but then again, they really they were, they were really not uh, built up to be as good as Wargreymon and Melgarumon, for example, especially Wargreymon. So, yeah. I actually like that this anime f uh, focused more on the Holy Digimon, like uh, Seraphimon, Ophanimon and uh, v Valdrumon. That was nice. But then again, uh, it just felt really uh, rushed, the, the story as a whole. It just felt really rushed. And uh, some enemies like Colmon, for example, uh, I think they, they, they focused, they, they put too much emphasis on them. Like, like Golmon, for example, is actually that, that amazing of a Digimon. And they put a, a lot of emphasis on him, like he's a, a really top-notch Digimon, where he, when he really isn't. He's definitely not on the level of the Seven Dual Wars, for example. I think th I, th I really think they should have went with something else in terms of the the, um, the storyline. Even if they they didn't want to put the Dark Master, they could have probably went with something like Grand Dracomon, for example. I, I've always uh, loved that, that that Digimon Grand Dracomon. I think he's a really nice uh, Digimon as a whole. He's really powerful as well, and he's he's really mysterious. And being that he knows about the, the X evolution and stuff. He, they really could have played out on that, they could have made the Grand Dracomon as the final villain uh, which by the way, he's never appeared in the anime as well so they could have went with that Grand Dracomon as the final boss but unfortunately they, they did not, they went with uh, the old generic stuff of uh, introducing a, a new uh, generic mindless monster as the final villain and then they just added Z Millenniumon in there I guess for the popularity of him, I guess to attract attention, but really, this anime as a whole just felt rushed, and uh, I really disliked it. And compared to the original one, it really sucked. The original one is much better than this one. Also, the the, the Adventure Zero Two as well is better. Timers is the is still the best in my opinion. Now, is this, was this anime better than that Digimon Savers Frontier or Cross Wars? I don't really think so uh, because. Those animes did have their problems, but then again, they did not feel like this one in terms of filler. Like I said, this anime was filled with filler and unnecessary stuff, so it, it really did, did not really deliver, in my opinion. And it really sucks, because Digimon really would benefit a lot if this anime was, was better. Because Digimon, unfortunately, is often compared to Pokemon for, because of its lower popularity. Because Digimon has most of the things exclusive to, exclusive to Japan and most of the things never never leave out Japan, for some video games for example. So it, it never really became that popular in the West because of that. And I kind of wish Digimon was more popular, but unfortunately 
it's it's stuff like this that make it really not that not that great and that's why people often prefer pokemon because it's more it has more consistency so yeah unfortunately the anime kind of sucked but uh, yeah if you're a hardcore digimon fan i i probably would would advise you to probably look at the the first arc at least at every one arc that's really the best arc of this anime but I don't really think you you need to to see the rest because it was really just a a mindless um, a mindless filler coaster ride as you could say it really it was really just filler here and there and really the Taichi and Agumon show oh and by the way another thing I liked about this anime which is a positive I guess there's not not many positive there's not many positives about this anime but this one surely was although it it was kind of uh, handled very uh, fast and not really in that important of a way. But they did introduce uh, Blitz Grimon and Kreskadurumon, so split split mega evolutions. That was nice, but then again, like I said, it was kind of rushed, and it, it was just there in between there. They they, they 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 kind of just added that for the for the sake of it. We also had Omnimon uh, Alter S in the in the last episode as well for the final against the final boss of Badan Mon, but it, it really just felt unnecessary and and uh, more of a. Uh, more of a, um, yeah, here's here's something you were asking for type of idea. So, yeah. That's it, guys. That was really just my thoughts and analysis on the, on the Digimon Adventure 2020 reboot. So, as a whole, the anime really felt weak. I, really, I didn't really like it at all. The the only good positive things about it really were the, the Devimon arc, the soundtrack, and uh, I guess some of the fights as well, inc um, including uh, Dark Knight Mon. The fights with Dark Knight Mon were really the best. Those were kind of nice animated, actually. But aside from that, there was really not much positive things about this. You also had some uh, some other cool things as well, like the um, the Alturus, Alturus form of uh, War Grimon and the uh, Sagittarius as well of uh, War Garden Mon. That was also a ni nice touch, but overall, it was actually um, that am that amazing to make up for the lack of of other good things about this anime. So yeah, that's it, guys. My thoughts on the on the Digimon Vision 2020 anime. I had really high hopes for this anime, but unfortunately, it did really not deliver, and it and it really just became dull and uninspiring. So yeah, let's hope Digimon Ghost to game is better, and uh, yeah. That's it guys, thank you for watching, so if you like and want to support me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, comment or dislike what you thought on this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? So, yeah, that's it guys, on Holy Mega signing out, if you're a Digimon fan like me, alright, you're good people, if you're not a Digimon fan, I advise you to watch the, the original animes, up until Tamers at least, and also play some of the, 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 the older video games, like the, the World Series, as well as Cybersuit and Hacker's Memory, and you'll see uh, how Digimon is really not that bad of a franchise. So yeah, that's it guys, for real this time, take care out there, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? So on Holy Mega, signing out. Peace.